This is where we left off on that former episode. Right here, there is a giant boss-like fight area. So let's get things started on with this video. Let's dive right in. See what boss fight waits for us here. It's Nick, by the way. If it wasn't obvious, because I'm the one doing this whole series. What's that? Oh, huh. think it's that shady fellow what ran from us earlier? Could be a beast, though it's likely a person. Guy must be pretty nimble if he can move through all this muck. Come, we must follow him. Wait. Why? We're not alone. The swamp. Good eyes, Hummel. The beast beneath the bog, Laspisius. Laspisius. I don't know. I'll be honest, if I remember correctly on the first time when I faced this guy, I think I had, think I had some troubles. This is what you do first, you break all this, his little things right there. Then he gets on land, and this is where you actually fight him. Level 28, try and do some chomping. Try to get the flash move, or the flash, uh, yeah, flash move to try to. Nope, that's gonna be a little bit damaged. But yeah, that adult skill. There we go. The adult skill, the, the giant swipe, that one does a lot in terms of getting all of those little bubbles on his back to pop. Luckily, he's not that bad at the moment. I think he gets worse later on when he brings in his electric cute little feather-shaped things, even though they're not, like... They're not actually feathers, but whatever. Whatever you want to call them. Yeah, this does so much just to get all of them hit, because you have to to get them stuck. So, I, I, think I, I think I was using it before, but I'd recommend trying to save some of your flash moves. I see you trying to sneak up on me. Or not your splash moves, your special moves. That require your little uh, circle-y thing. I would recommend for use for saving those until you want to, to get him out of the water, because not the water, but in the bog, because that's when he's the most dangerous. Is when he's in here. Did you get him with the last one? Yeah. Because now he's gonna hop back up. Let's get him with Loxy this time. Ah! I forgot he does that. And he has a backwards kick. Good to know. Come on, Loxia. Let's see what damage we can do. This is what I'm talking about. Stay away from that. That's basically there in case you get a little too happy when you're just, like, standing right next to him. Let's bring him down a little more health. Nice damage, Loxia. I think that's going to cue him to go back in the, in the bog. Yep. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to 3-cycle him, but maybe we'll be able to. It's a little close on the 3-cycle. And I think he has like a couple left that we have to hit. I think one left, if I saw that right. I think one left of the little bubbles on the back that we got to pop. Ooh, nice ripple effect. Throwing in a new attack, I see you. Ah! Get away, get away, get away, get away. There we go. Nice job, Sahad. I think I rolled into that one if the hitbox was still there. I'm going. That's this is the part when he when I remember it started getting a little more difficult when he was running away between these things. So emphasizing flash. Oh, I thought I got the flash move. 
It's like everything in this game, flash moving flash guards. There we go. Oh, but you ran away. Come on, man. I'm doing better, though. I was playing better today than I was the last time I recorded, which is nice. But it wasn't saying much, because if I was playing with one hand, I would be playing better than I was playing with uh, before. I don't want to get at all too low. I think to be safe, I'm going to have some fish soup. Where's the fish soup? Or nullify stats effects? Nah, I'll go hardy ratatouille. Give me HP regen, or SP regen. Actually, I might fill up the stun meter off, off this. Yeah, the stun meter. Oh, come on, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah, there we go. We got some level 27 people now. Woohoo. Probably wasn't even necessary to do that. I missed the fact that the stun gauge was building up and building up and building up. I know this isn't necessary to do, but I like seeing the 100% for the explored part. So I'm just going to be running around the perimeter just to make sure that all the black areas go away. Got to be anal about some things. We don't have to, but I am. And, uh, it might give it away, but yes, you'll get something good if you do this. Don't want to say what it is. One of the reasons because I can't remember. But I know it's good and I know I appreciated getting it. Nice, even though I didn't really need that. Let's see who that shady guy was. Because he can't run in front of us anymore. Find our way to the Odd Rock Coast. The coastline. Now let's find that guy that kept running from us. Huh? I don't see him anywhere. That's not possible. Oh, he's here. We'll find him. We'll find him if it's the last thing we do. Got some leaves. Some beautiful flowers. Just gonna scan it. Go right to left. All the way around. I know where he is. I don't want to run straight there. Can do the perimeter search. Make sure everything's in the clear. And, guys, you need to make sure we do some fishing too. Because you get rewards for fishing. You get a lot of good stuff for fishing. I don't know when it, you get it, though. You get it sometime. I feel like it's going to be coming up soon-ish. I don't think it's going to be for a little while, though. This is a good one, though, because I'm pretty sure this will have a uh, prismatic jewel that we can trade with Dina, who's running the shop. I love so many mechanics about this game. They're so amazing! Uh, get the treasure chest. I think it should be just a prismatic jewel. Yeah, prismatic jewel, not prasmatic jewel. Ugh. Sounded off. Is that all of this area explored? Yeah. You sent a present call behind the rocks? Yeah, let's call out to him. Huh? Someone hiding back there? He sounds terrified. Please don't be afraid. We're here to rescue you. Really? Yes, just calm down and come out. Hello. This guy looks pretty fragile. Hmm. Why the heck were you running away from us? Um, well, I was on a ship that ended up sinking. So you're a passenger aboard the Lombardia. Yes. Yeah, yes. My, name My name is Licht. Somehow I barely managed to make it to the shore of this island. But a beast chased me into the jungle, and then I saw this scary looking man. I apologize. It's just, huh, someone was chasing me, and, um... Scary looking man. That Roman military officer we saw at the entrance to the forest. 
seem to be actively looking for someone. Did you do something to make him want to chase you? No, no, I swear. I have no clue why he was after me. I just... We're also passengers aboard the Lombardia, just like you. We can take you to the place where the other castaways have gathered. But really? That would be nice. I didn't know what would happen to me here. Alright, Mr. Kristen. Let's call Little Pero and... I can do the voice. Hey, it's Pero. Perfect timing. Are you calling us back for a raid? At all. Emergency. Emergency. Nah, but I can't do a good one with that. Tell me in the comments if you want to do the uh, Pero voice. Because otherwise, it's just... Yeah, it's a weird one. Has anything happened at the village? Yeah, Barbara's calling off for you. We'll see what's going on. All right, sudden news? What happened to Castaway Village? An uneasy feeling settled into Adol and the others as they made their way back to Castaway Village. With Lick to joining Castaway Village. I think that's how you say his name. Are we there yet? Guess we're going too fast. You feeling okay? Yeah, yeah I suppose. Oh, Hummel didn't follow us. I haven't seen him for a while. You think he might have gotten lost? Oh, well. I'm sure he'll catch up. My word. Cut off the voice acting in a second. Sorry about that. What seems to be the matter, Doki? Oh, well, I need you guys to stay calm. Captain Barbaros was attacked. He's hurt pretty bad. Oh, it was a beast. Actually, we think a person did this. Person? Are you sure? Oh, why would anyone do such a thing? Dr. Kiergaard says his injuries aren't life-threatening. Come with me to the lodge. I'll give you the details there. Something terrible has happened. How's the captain doing, Doc? He's lost a lot of blood. Fortunately, his wounds are healing well, thanks to the medicinal herbs. He's been resting all day, but he just woke up not too long ago. I think he's well enough to see visitors now. I see. That's good news, at least. Still, I recommend you take it easy for a little while longer. I think I've done all I can, but should the need arise, please don't hesitate to call for me. Thanks, Doc. Please excuse me. I'm so relieved that Dr. Kiergaard is with us. Seriously. Thank you for coming, Adolf. Sorry I'm not decent at the moment. Are your wounds healing? Yes, I seem to be on the mend. I understand everybody's been quite worried about me. Um, may we ask what happened to you? Of course. I was out patrolling the village as I do every day. While walking near the shore, I hear a voice call out to me. The moment I turned to face it, something immediately sliced, my chest and sliced into my chest and limbs. Immediately? The voice that called out to me that belonged to a man, that I'm certain of. But whoever he is, he was wearing a robe and I only saw him from behind. I can't believe I was taken by surprise. I see. I found the captain lying on the ground and we all brought him here. And that's when we noticed this note on one of the tables. Huh? A note? I will rip you asunder, every last one of you, Nemo. Gah! This is a death threat. No one in the village is safe. Yes, this is bad news. The other castaways have already caught wind of this note. It's only a matter of time before everybody starts panicking. Why would the person who wrote this sign it as Nemo? I'm not sure. Nemo is a Roman word. It means nameless. Sorry to keep you waiting, Captain. So you're that Roman officer. Orin. 
The Roman capital is being terrorized as of late, uh, known as a perp, by a perp known as a nameless ripper. His victims fit no particular pattern. He, he kills men and women, always with a bladed instrument. At the scene of the crime, you always reason note that's, that he signs his Nemo. Hmm, I've heard the rumors. The serial killer that who the Roman Empire capital has the Roman capital trembling with fear. You, you think that person is the one who attacked the captain? Why would a serial killer be on this island in the first place? Hmm. I've been pursuing the Nameless Ripper for a while now. Got a tip from my partner that a man who fit the Nameless's profile was pretend was preparing to board a ship. No, no. Yes, the Lombardia. As soon as I got that tip, I wasted no time securing passage on the Lombardia. I was supposed to rendezvous with my partner so we could take down the Nameless together, but... Well, you all know what happened. You, you're saying we're on the same ship as a, some psycho serial killer? Sorry, I wasn't doing Orin's voice right. Yes, that's right. And Nameless is still alive, somewhere on the island, or somewhere on this island. Hell, he could already be in Castaway Village. N no. What, what, what's this Nameless guy look like? Unfortunately, I don't have a physical description of Nameless. I was supposed to find out from my partner after we boarded the ship, but... <laughs> What was that? I'm getting scared right now. I'm not even joking. It's dark in my apartment. <laughs> it came from outside. Where did that sound come from? I'll take the beach. You take the hill. What do you have to say, Kathleen? What was that roar? You guys be careful when you're out exploring. My leg! My leg! Sir Carlin! You alright? Gah! He's... The wound on Captain Barbarossa's leg. Then, God, what if that nameless ripper is still lurking nearby? We must tend to Sir Carlin's wound before we do anything else. Come with me, Mr. Kristen. We'll. Despite his injuries, Captain Barbaros got the castaways together and explained the situation. There, Sir Carlin admitted that he could not identify Nameless as he too only saw from behind. With so few clues, the castaway began to grow red restless with worry. This is why I can't do horror games, guys. I'm getting scared by this. I'm a chicken. Until finally. I can't stand this any longer. This murderer is among us. I demand that he reveal himself. This newest member of our fold certainly seems suspicious to me. Are you the murderer, boy? He can know. I would never do such a thing. You will pay dearly for what you did to my leg. Ow, 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 ow! Please try to remain still, Sir Carlin. There's no reason to suspect Licht. He's not a, he's not a person of interest. What? That's right. Licht was with us when the captain was attacked. Th thank you. Hmm. Still, we can't just stand around and do nothing. Well, I refuse to spend another second on the on trapped on this island with a murderer. Wait, didn't the Musclehead build a small boat or something such? Why not use it to sail off the coast and hail a passing ship for help? I don't think that's a good idea. What do you think, Captain? It's not the worst idea out there, but it's worth a try, right? The Isle of Saren is feared by by sailors, so no ship would dare to venture into its coastal waters. You need to set sail far out into the open sea if you'd even have a chance at hailing a passing vessel. But sail that far out into the ocean in such a tiny boat? It's foolhardy is what it is. Oh. Do you have a better idea, then? We'll never escape the island if you keep rejecting every proposed solution. Besides, Captain, it's your fault that the Lombardi sank in the first place. If anyone should venture out to sea and get help, it should be you. I beg your pardon? No, 
more beasts? Well, whatever it was, it sounded very close. Do you think it might be? I'm sure of it. You think it might be the monster that attacks Sahad? Joe! Yes. Captain Barbaros got attacked. Kierkegaard is trying to help him out. Dean is worried. Kathleen's up there worried. Sir Carlin got attacked. <laughs> he deserves it. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that because right now I'm getting a little scared and I have to pass out for work the next morning. <laughs> but we're going to leave it at that. There's a lot of stuff that has just happened. We had, while we were exploring, we found a lick. We brought him back. We got another castaway. But with all this commotion going on, now we have a raid, with it being the monster that attacks Sahad too. So there's a lot of stuff that's going to be going on. Just going to do some quick cooking. Join us to the next one, where maybe we'll figure out a little bit more about this um, mystery, uh, murder mystery, and about this beast that has shown up. See you in the next episode.